Hello, love. Welcome back. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandra, astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to be talking about this Gemini eclipse that is going to be a game changer, you guys. And as I look at the clock, it's literally 8.08 p.m., which is so funny because that's exactly pretty much the energy that we need to talk about is how transformative this this uh, full moon is about to be. Keep in mind, we are walking out of eclipse season, and these eclipses that we have already lived through, breathed through, have been so transformative and so triggering to usher in some massive, radical changes in our lives, things that we probably didn't, not all of us, didn't invite in. It just kind of came in, kind of like a window flying open and then a bird coming through. And you're just like, oh, okay, I don't even know if I have a net. How do I help this bird? That's kind of been the eclipses lately. How have you guys been vibing with all of this? Of course, I've been doing my best to kind of help navigate you through these waters, which are tumultuous. And, um, you know, giving you hopefully the tools and the resources to help you to feel buoyed, you know, during these tumultuous, crazy times. Look at that. As I'm talking about it, we have this Nine of Swords energy at the bottom of the deck. So this rules the feelings of anxiety, tension, sleepless nights, tension within the body, tension within the mind, the soul, the spirit. If Even if you're in a good place, you can kind of, I think for the most of us, we can sense that something is in the works, something is coming to a head, something has already come to a head, or we might be processing what has already occurred in our lives. A lot of you guys have been doing a lot of lifestyle shifts and changes. A lot of you guys might be a little anxious by what is that you're seeing on the news and really cautious and careful about what you allow yourself to absorb as far as information that you're taking in and things that is that you're hearing and feeling. And I, I respect that and I admire you and I encourage you. I'm doing the same thing on my end. We should actually all do a collective scream right now. Could you imagine just all at the same time, just taking a one, let's just do it. Ready? One, two, three. I'm just kidding. Let me know down in the comments if you actually screamed. I can't right now. I can't. I would. You know I would. If you or my friends would know that I would scream. I, I did a little holler last night when I was um, in a garage a parking garage it felt so good but my puppies are sleeping over on my right so i don't want to wake them and you guys know i have an actual puppy she's four months old so if i wake her it's gonna be on okay like donkey kong okay good luck trying to calm her down anyways you guys let's talk about this gemini full moon it's gonna be happening uh december 18th or 19th depending on where you're at in the world i have the chart pulled up for 11 33 p.m eastern standard time however it's going to be a little bit after that i am going to absolutely be working my intentions for this full moon this is going to be the last full moon of this year i feel i'm not gonna lie to you i feel emotional about that I didn't realize it until just now. This is going to be the last full moon of this year, and then we're walking into 2022. I'm feeling a ways. I, it, it's just, I didn't realize this year flew by. There has been so many things that have happened, like in my personal life, and unexpected twists and turns. I cannot believe this is the end of the year absolutely amazing striking yeah i'm definitely going to be this is going to be the last intention oil for 2021 and i love it you know i love it and i love that we're able to this is going to be the last my, my last full moon video holy goodness wow okay well looking at the chart you guys this full moon is going to be happening a sign of gemini which rules the sign of the twins right so this is going to be in the final um final degrees of gemini and I can already tell just by looking at this chart that there is going to be a hyper focus on communication, information that you are sharing with others. Um, I feel, as I said that, I feel like there's things that are already developing or in the works that you are getting ready and preparing to share with the world or with someone special. Something, someone or something that's been, you've been taken into consideration for quite some time, you might be sharing some news with them at the time of the full moon or you might be receiving some news or messages at the time of the full moon. I'm also seeing a, a high heightened 
energy here that is revolving around highlighting guidance and really hearing the call from spirit and call from angels and calls from your higher self that's going to give you greater clarity and direction into the next path to take. I was just having this conversation with a friend earlier today. We were shuffling cards for each other. Tarot shuffling is one of my love languages, so it felt really good to shuffle and share with him. But we were just saying like, I was saying that even though 2021 is about to close out, and spirit doesn't really work on our timetables when it comes to time, like the ticking of time with our you know, calendar. I do feel like there is something that is coming to a close very soon. I do feel that we should also, you guys, someone said a comment on my YouTube, not my YouTube, my Instagram. They, I posted a video of me running and they remembered me saying, you know, Jess, you said that you were never gonna run. If, if you start running, we should all run because you guys know I don't, <laughs> when I'm talking about the world and whatnot, I don't like to um, cause any level of panic. But I will say that 2022 is gonna be quite the doozy. It, I mean, just looking at the charts and looking at the placement of the planets right now, it, it, there's a lot of tension and there's a lot of tumultuous energy that's still building up and still you know, budding, things that have not been completely resolved from the years prior and it just adds up it snowballs so these are something that that is that i want to be aware i just thought it was so funny that someone said that like jess if you we if we see you running then that means that we should be running i was running yes which is that never happens by the way yes you should run but not in a way that causes any panic or anxiety or any level of concern it's something that again we should all be aware of and i will help us through those waters like i always do i don't think that i've been uh, wrong yet um some people have given me a little bit of hate because they think that i've been cocky or egocentric and that's not the case at all um i hope that you guys understand my humor and where it is that i'm coming from Okay, Six of Cups, yes. So this is what, exactly what it is that I wanna to talk to you guys about. There's there's definitely gonna be some communication coming in, some information coming coming in. I would not be surprised if it did come from the past. The reason why is because uh, Venus is, is preparing to go retrograde definitely at the time of the, of the full moon. And she is also directly conjunct the vertex point and Pluto. Pluto, you guys, keep. we've been keeping our eyes on Pluto for a minute. Same thing with Saturn, but Pluto and Venus conjunction is very, 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 very intense. This could really cathartically cleanse relationships, cathartically cleanse your wallet, cleanse your bank account, um, change your needs and your values as a whole, especially sitting in the sign of Capricorn, but it can also create a lot of depth and inner connection or deeper connection um, within yourselves and your ability to connect with others and also the duality within yourselves. That's something else that I want to talk to you guys about. Like I was saying in the very beginning of this video, there's there's a highlight of communication, information sharing, going back and forth, what you are sent, sending and what you're receiving, what you hear and what you think. I do also feel that there is a call from the angels, in this case like Archangel Gabriel type of energy that is going to drop into your life and give you profound level of clarity. Pluto has been doing a lot of heavy damage doing <laughs> within the last few years. And we are not out of the woodwork with this transit yet. In fact, it's only intensifying. Do not be afraid, concerned, or scared, even if you see me run down the street, if you are watching yourself or others in the process or in the midst of incredible, profound change. It's like taking a pimple, this is the grossest metaphor, taking a pimple and pushing down on it, squishing all of that muck up and cleansing it as best as you can. It can be a very painful process. This is not only in our relationships, you guys, but this is also the aspects, the shadow and light aspects within ourselves, which can be really hard for us to sit with and to receive. I will want to absolutely shuffle the cards and see what's gonna come through as far as these information, this information that's sharing or this clarity. I do feel like there's information here, and it's funny now that I'm saying that. I have the whole Celtic cross here. That's something that I never really do when I'm doing a full moon reading or a new moon reading, but it's here. Um, so clearly spirit wants us to shuffle these cards and we will talk about that. So stay tuned if you 
can or if you want to hear what the tarot my intuition have to say moving on though you guys this full moon is happening in the sign of gemini gemini rules the twins communication your siblings your friends the community your neighborhood and with that being said it's also ruled by mercury mercury is a planet of communication information sharing and it also is our ability to heal heal by the words that we say the things that we think and our ability to connect with others to ask for help and um you know provide medicine in a way that changes our energy i really feel at the time of the full moon that you all of us should have some level of a cathartic cleanse within our lives we should absolutely be setting intention for a cathartic cleanse not only in our environment in our home but within our mind body soul and spirit so i would love to see us laying to rest all of this year up until this point i would love to see us um setting intention for facing ourselves and our shadow selves like the good sides of ourselves the sides that we love to look at and that we're proud of and also the things that we might feel a little bit of guilt or shame with this is the energy of duality like these two separate energies that live within all of us and, and definitely exceptionally masculine feminine energy that lives and resides within every single one of us working our magic and working our intention to help us to work with balance balancing our ability to show up and to give to the world and to be generous with the world and active and then also our ability to receive and to be dormant and to fall back into feminine energy and to protect that um that balance that every single one of us does deserve. I really want to speak to you guys with this Mars trine Chiron, Chiron retrograde. That is something that I talked about in the week for um, the video for this week ahead with Chiron retrograde and the sign of Aries. We are told to be or being guided and being led to understand who we are the i am and as chiron is retrograde we can use powerful mantras to help redefine and redesign how we think about ourselves because that's going to help us to be advocates and leaders for the world um as things start to pivot and change and as our paths start to pivot and shift okay because this is something that we're all under the influence of how are you showing up as a leader for yourself and do you feel confident in your abilities do you feel confident in your gifts do you feel confident asking for your needs to be met are your needs being met are you happy are you thriving all of those things are things that spirit at this time in history they want you to accept to receive and to have plenty of some of you guys with the eclipses you've already set some things into motion you put some job applications out or maybe you're buying a new home and settling down root roots and doing all these different things maybe your your friendship circle or your relationships has has totally evolved maybe your money and your spending is shifting maybe your beliefs are shifting one thing that is really standing out to me is this idea of finding god and and your understanding of what god or god is or this higher power if there if you even believe that there is one what that looks like and where you can find it as the sun is um, moving through the sign of Sagittarius and then we'll soon enter into the sign of Capricorn, you are really invited right now to explore and to chase and to pursue your beliefs and your position in this world. Where does this wisdom make sense for you? Where can you find it and how can it help you on this path? Really take that time out for yourself, especially as Mars is moving to the sign of Sagittarius now. Okay, that was a recent shift, a recent change, and I want you to, you know, again, be, you know, to pivot with that and be flexible with this, with this information here. Like I was saying, um, you know, I am really seeing a call from the angels as far as something that it is that they want you to hear, to know, to understand. This feels very, very faded. It feels very cathartic. It feels very healing. North Node falling in the sign of Gemini is information that we need to hear it is a call from the guides it is a call from within it is a call for your separate other partner your soulmate your twin flame whatever it is that is your other half whatever it is that you feel that you are intuitive that you are intuitively pursuing okay because when we're working with the energies of duality um duality this is not only showing up in one way this can show up 
in a multitude of ways in different ways because we're working with energy so don't be surprised if you start <clears throat> focusing on you know aspects within yourself that felt a little wonky and crooked or maybe you start looking at your relationships and saying listen I am over giving in this area in my life I'm over giving in this relationship I'm over giving in my work or maybe I'm maybe people feel like I'm not giving enough and because of that there's this cathartic cleansing there's a breaking apart of um, connections or relationships or opportunities things that it is that I've been wanting to hold on to and now they're breaking apart or now they're crumbling in my fingers maybe sometimes it's not so much what you have done maybe you have done everything maybe you really have given all given it your all but with this Saturn square Uranus aspect that's been going on, Uranus falling in the sign of Taurus and Saturn falling in the sign of Aquarius, there's a lot of distance when it comes to things that you can't just, you can no longer just hope for. You're going to want tangible evidence. You're gonna to wanna to see, you you don't wanna hear people talking about what, that, what it is that they're gonna do. You're gonna to wanna to see the actions of it. A lot of you guys are getting out of the clouds. You're getting out of, you know the vision the fantasy and you're getting really snapped into reality and this can be really tough I, I can honestly say that one of my best friends is notorious for seeing life in these pink rose colored glasses she does everything that she can in order to make sure that she is protecting herself so that life doesn't hit her and catch her off guard and I can say that in 2021 many conversations that we've had together she said listen Jess it has been you know reality it has really shifted her sense in reality and what is exactly what is exactly reality like what is reality um it, to every that's a topic for a whole nother video <laughs> topic for a whole other video um but yeah i mean in her sense in her case she just like the the heaviness of life and how crazy things were that were in her life like they were all shifting her to to face certain realities and to face certain things that she was kind of hoping to run away from as long as she could and and you know life didn't was really kind of redirecting her to kind of face some stuff and i'm so proud of her for for showing up and for being patient and kind with herself as she, and flexible and graceful as life was pinning her eyes open kind of like the movie bird box right so as I'm gonna use my friend as an example but and I also this is happening in my own life but I can imagine that it's happening within your life you guys like we're not all in this separately we're all in this together so just keep an eye out for that Saturn square Uranus is very icy it's very dry Think of if you have concrete that's been poured down for years and a house built on, on the foundation of that concrete and something comes in and shakes that, then you have these cracks and then these crazy elements that come through. So this, you know, hot heat storms and then an ice storm that blows through and then the water fills and then it starts to ice up and crack. It's going to break down even the strongest foundation of cement because of the elements, the circumstances around it. Having said that, when the ice starts to melt, you're gonna have the opportunity and the chance to build and do things differently. And maybe this is just the universe's way of helping you to break down things that wouldn't have lasted anyways, or it's just giving you the opportunity to revamp in a way that is more innovative and, and advances your life and your progress in any area of your goal. Really trust that that's what's happening here because one thing about the planets is that there is a purpose to it. The weather, maybe not so much. That's just what's going on in, in the <laughs> on Earth at that time. We can't really control that at all. We can't control the planets, but there is a method to that madness and all of the, the, the divine chaos. We just have to trust that. Having said that, you guys, part of fortune is sitting in the sign of Neptune, and Neptune rules our ability to yes think in f forms of fantasy but there's so many planets here that are grounding us in reality and grounding us to have fire and ambition in order to make changes for our future selves so it doesn't feel like we're getting the reward the reward right now it's something that will come in the future however how do you envision the world that is where the real gift is going to be so 
really sit with spirit and call out to spirit and set your intentions and work your magic, whatever it is that you got to do, whatever it is that you believe in, in order to hear that call from God or hear the call from the angels or call out for what it is that you, you need. You have to speak it. You have to write it. Mercury rules communication. It rules your thoughts. It rules what you say. So take this seriously, especially as, as Mercury is moving through the sign of Capricorn, because you're going to solidify the ground that has already been broken underneath your feet. Having said that, I want to pause really quickly and, and kind of not, you know, um, see what these cards are, but I'm going to have to pause the video real quickly so that we can prep, so that we can dive into the tarot cards because something is here and I want to find out what it is, especially when it comes to communication information and this guidance that they're giving us that's going to give you clarity under the light of this full moon. All right, my loves. So I'm back. I want to really quickly um, invite you, if you didn't know this, a lot of you guys don't know that Bahati Life has a podcast or I have a podcast. It's Bahati Life Podcast. You can search it on Apple, Spotify, and Google Podcasts or any streaming source. Um, one of the most recent uploads is information for the week ahead. I like to post my predictions up on the podcast as well but something that I think that you guys should all look at is the recent podcast on the metaverse um, but uh, yeah and then something else that we're gonna be talking about is sacred geometry so definitely check that out I will be putting it on YouTube channel but just for those of you guys that love the podcasting forum it's definitely there for you because I can post there in ways that uh, I cannot on YouTube okay forgive me for growling um, but I just saw a card that's been showing up a lot lately in readings for a, a lot of people. First things first, and I probably shouldn't have growled because as a tarot reader and as an intuitive, you know, you take the lessons, but I'm human. One thing that's been showing up a lot is the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune here, the World card, and the High Priestess. High Priestess reversed, however. This is really tough for me to say this, but this these cards have been showing up left and right. As an intuitive, as a spiritual teacher, I, and like this is just my passion and my love, I tend to wire myself and tune myself into my intuition at all times. With the High Priestess showing up reversed, I have been getting messages for other people that, and I just, the reason why I growled <laughs> is because I'm ready for me to go back to my old ways, my old normal, my own normalcy. So to see it show up again in the cards for all of us again, and I respect, I respect energies, you guys know that, but I keep seeing the High Priestess reversed and the Wheel of Fortune card reversed and the World card. This, honestly, and that this is crazy because like I said, as a spiritual person and you know, this is a lifestyle that I live, of course I have balance, I go out, I have fun. Um, that's just me being a human being and I hopefully that you're doing the same thing. With the High Priestess card, there's this message here of being really careful about there's two things here being really careful about not overly relying on your intuition but which is so crazy coming from me because all i say is listen to your intuition but what if what if you allowed yourself to rest what if you allowed yourself to not tap in right now the reason why i say that is because we are in really really tense times that can be emotionally overwhelming for a lot of people or energetically overwhelming for a lot of people it can be really hard to tell the spiritual community to not listen to their intuition but to give it a rest just for a moment and allow the universe to kind of unfold as it will take this message as it resonates for some of you guys you might be with the high priestess reverse showing up this is you this is spirit's way of telling you that there is something that you have been intuitively sensing that you might have been avoiding that is a very there are two different messages here either you are playing a lot is my boob out of course it is 
goddess problems. <laughs> Either you're playing, adventuring, and active, doing the most in everything, and it's blocking your blessings, or you, if you are someone who is always shuffling cards or always tapping in or always meditating, it's going to be very beneficial for you to kind of end that just premature, like just for right now, just temporarily is what I meant to say, and go out, get active get out in the sun, do something that is physically um, good for your energy at this moment and this time because that's going to keep the wheel going again. So those are two different energies. I, there's, over, there's a lot of people who are subscribed to this YouTube channel, a lot of people who watch on the regular. Some that are part of the Bahati Vibe tribe and some that are brand new. So take it how it resonates. You will know within your spirit which one serves you. I will say that it's when you are taking a break from your intuition, your intuition is going to speak to you regardless, but you're just not, you're creating a temporary um, rest period, grace period, so that you're not constantly streaming and pulling in information from the world at this moment in time, especially when it comes to information sharing and receiving. You will gain guidance. But I feel that for right now, especially with the world card and the queen of pentacles, by grounding yourself and centering yourself, things have an interesting way of coming full circle for you right now. If you are someone who has been on the go, partying, doing the most in all the activities, all of that type of stuff, this is a time for you to pull from that because you're going to miss the mark when it comes to what spirit is trying to speak into your life and ground and center yourself so that you can connect because there's a message that is for you here, you know, there in that process. Having said that, my loves, look, we have the Empress card here reversed, Page of Cups, and then also we have King of Cups and Knight of Wands. Page of Cups is reversed. I want to say that with the Empress energy here showing up reversed, this is really telling me and and what I feel is that every single one of us needs to honor our physical bodies at this moment in time. Sometimes when we can sense as intuitive and spiritual beings that there is a greater purpose or someone that needs healing or something that needs to be done, we can sense that we're picking up on it and it are uh, the feeling of that alone can overwhelm our senses that we may put our physical needs and desires off on the back burner in order to rush in to soothe to comfort to make right to heal this is why i feel like with the high priestess as intuitive beings and sensitive beings it's actually a good thing to kind of cut that off just for a moment you'll be able to tap into it again but you we spirit is showing right now the opportunity for you to honor and to indulge the physical body um, to comfort the physical body, to rest the physical body, to be still with the physical body, okay? And this is where with the Page of Cups, you can start feeling, especially if you have been feeling very hypersensitive, very emotionally bombarded. If, you're, if you started dreaming, if you have dreams and then all of a sudden you stop dreaming or if you start having nightmares or you're falling asleep at night and you are not sleeping well throughout the night, you're not waking up well rested, this is one of those times where those sensitive people, those impasse, those intuitives, they need to cut off their intuition, get grounded, stop shuffling the cards. I know that it's hard. I, I totally feel you. <laughs> I feel you. I myself was in a stage where I was, which I shared with you guys, I was spending a lot more time outside, a lot more time playing. I was going roller skating, on boats, jet skiing. I mean, a lot of adventuring. Definitely Queens of Queen of Wands stuff because I had to take a break. Spirit was clearly telling me, listen, girl, like in order for you to do what is it you're gonna do, in order for you to do what we have you to do, you're gonna have to wanna get into, you know, the human realm and go play and then when it's time we'll call we'll call you back and I you know that's literally how it's been going same thing with king of cups and the knight of wands here there is a message that is going to come through knight of wands feels very clear that there's a message that is coming through 
Um, there's some things that I want to talk to you guys about with that, especially at the base of this reading. We have Ace of Swords Reverse and Five of Pentacles. This is showing me that there are some things that you have really been internally grappling with. There are some things that no matter how you spin it, no matter how you lay the facts down, no matter how logically or emotionally you approach this problem, you, you just can't find the root of it. You can't find the solution to it. And this feels very frustrating. This feels very exhausting and it feels very stagnant. This is one of those things where I genuinely feel that this is where spirit is calling you to understand the act of surrender and that it's not for you to totally understand the why, the how, the when, the what. It's for you to allow it to simply just be. This is again kind of what I was saying earlier where I just feel like with cutting off the high priestess energy right now, it's not having to, to go, it's leave, the high priestess leaves the temple. Allow the high priestess to get up from her throne, leave the temple, leave the incense, leave the smoke, leave her, her position of guardian that robe behind her and the pomegranates and all of literally the duality behind her because she's literally standing between those two pillars between dark and light, masculine and feminine, and just go for a walk in the woods. I don't feel like that's too much to ask. <laughs> it can feel like a lot, but I, I just it does feel very promising. For those of you guys that have not been in the woods or if you guys have been doing the most, um, you know, out adventuring and having fun and playtime, this is a fantastic time for you to come back to center and to sit in the woods still. We're all going to be out in the woods. We're all going to be out in nature. Are we all going to be in our sacred space? and reconnect in a different way to each their own, right? There's, again, this energy here, Ace of Swords and Five of Pentacles, I just, it was reversed. I'm turning it upright just so you could see it clearer. I just feel like there's gonna be something here, a message that comes through, that's gonna be the very key that is that you're looking for, but it's not gonna come in with you. Again, if you're a person who's, I feel like literally it's gonna be 86% of you guys have been really hyper tuned into your intuition. The answer, the clarity is going to come from you getting up, walking around, being active, and, and going out and exploring everything again. Having said that, you guys, the future, we have the King of Wands and we have the Devil card reversed. So these cards, we have Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, the Empress, King of Wands, did I say that already? These cards, we have King of Pentacles here as well, all of these cards are very strong, they're very powerful, they're very, really grounded and stabilized in fire, in earth, and water. And that's exactly what is that we're having here within the chart as I'm looking at the chart. Um, the one thing that it is that I'm seeing right now mostly is air, but I just feel like that air is going to come through the Ace of Swords to, to open the door so that you can complete this chapter in your life just kind of close out this chapter within your life i am really strongly sensing that this has everything to do with the one thing or this this thing that logically you just cannot figure your way out it feels so amazingly like a maze <laughs> like emphasis on the word maze in the world amazing it's just you just it's like you you can't find your way out of it no matter how you try it just you keep beating your head up and you've been you're almost exhausting yourself with trying to find the solution and the answer. And Spirit is just saying, listen, if you just take a walk, you would be surprised how much is going to open up for you, what those doors are going to open up for you. I feel as though the full moon is going to act as that catalyst for information to just kind of pop in. And this is going to unkink the chains and break the chains that have been holding you back from being prosperous, from having growth, from feeling expansive, from being immersed in your prosperity, your blessings, your abundance, and being able to see the reward of it, right? How this energy that is ruling you right now, we have the sun card and we also have the page of wands. Honestly, with this page of wands here, some of you guys have just, it feels like you've been really impulsive and, frust and, and frustrated. However, that's just spirit telling you that there's something else that you are missing, that you are sensing, that you're picking up on. And I just truly feel that you just going for that walk, going for that walk or taking a time out 
from your normal from your normal routine or breaking this bad habit some of you guys are really breaking free from bad bad habits some of you guys have been running 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 from yourself running from a truth running running from a secret or chasing chasing why someone else is running from this secret running from and you just this is where it's like I got to I got to lay this to rest and there's this big huge emphasis on something about you surrendering to this and you stop seeking and you stop asking and somehow that's just always how the energy works finally that chain breaks and that thing that very thing that's been ev evading you being elusive and running away and it constantly escaping literally just shows up like boom I'm here that's what's going to be next two of cup two of cups and the king of pentacles Queen of Pentacles was at the center of this reading. This represented the majority of us. However you identify, the Queen of Pentacles represents the feminine energy within yourself that wants to be provided for, that needs and thrives in stability and luxury and support and protection. And with the Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles, something shows up that matches that energy. Why? Because you're no longer chasing it and trying to logically or intuitive intuitively find the key to open the door that's going to bring that person in sometimes allowing yourself to surrender to it is all and everything that is that you need in order to make it happen having said that the advice that spirit is is giving you right now is two of swords and the hangman this totally clears up everything and confirms everything that, is that i said hangman says literally you've been hung up in this one space in this one position for far too long Trust and believe it has something to do with you intuitively trying to find out the answer. Or are you trying to make sense of it all? You might be pulling charts. You might be pulling cards. You might be asking others for their intuitive to their for their intuitive advice. You might be asking your higher self, asking your guides. Spirit is saying, give it a rest. Go for a walk. Go shopping, honey. We heard the intention. We heard the problem. And in order for us to fix it, in order order for there to be a breakthrough let it go surrender it and surrendering to it will unbind you and break those chains free two of swords says stop looking don't look for it don't look for it two of swords is truly she blindfolds herself from her physical senses and she calms everything down even her intuitive senses so that the, the waters can settle so that just temporarily it's a temporary pause that so that the water can clear and then clarity can come having said that the outcome this is amazing the outcome we have death and rebirth however it's reversed but that's fine and the star card here upright star card says finally I have purpose finally I can see my star finally I can see where I'm going finally I have hope finally there is healing this is not something that we force or that we run away from with death re death and rebirth showing up death is not something that we can put off it's something that is going to happen when it is our time this is not just physical death of the physical body it's death of circumstances and events within our lives when we have cards like the the world card and the wheel of fortune these are circumstances that are fixed and faded that we cannot control that we have to surrender to or else we can lock ourselves up and have a hard time accepting the circumstances that makes that will make us lock up and and block up i find it so amazing that this card with the wheel of fortune i don't know if you guys can see that but she has she's balancing black and white forces within her arms within her hands and that is truly actually the element of the high priestess she too has black and white okay there's a lot of significance and symbolism in the black and white that shows up within tarot as a whole that's something that i teach in the sacred circle tarot school which is on pause hey franklin hi babe for now um but it it talks about these extremes these these striking differences that we accept them for how they are this is also within ourselves we don't try to force it or change it we just allow it to be the same thing i'm seeing occurring here you don't force or fight or resist resist transformation as it is occurring in your life you allow it to be you don't run from it you accept it having said that 
with the star card here, massive, massive healing will come through. And I will say that with the sun card and the star card, both at polar opposites of the spectrum, something is going to come in and light the way for you. And having said that, we have the Knight of Swords showing up as the messenger. So that was a mouthful, but I'm not done. We still have time. I told myself that I would keep these videos short and sweet and to the point, but it just simply cannot with energies like this, you guys, it's way too intense. Spirit, you showed us a lot just now. What do you need us to know? What do you need us to hear? What do you need us to see that will be helpful to us, that will bring clarity to us and guidance to us that we don't already understand so far? There's a lot of people that are looking for their soulmate and their twin flame connections. There's a lot of people that are waiting for information and news to come in. There's a lot of ideas and inspiration that you want them to see and to receive that can be game changing. There's a lot of aspects of healing that you want people to receive, especially when it comes to releasing shame, guilt, and falsehoods. There's a lot of communities and friendships and, and siblings um, um, issues that need to be addressed help us with that what is the message and the word is hierophant the card is hierophant you are leveling up to heightened levels like the next level the next platform the new normal five of wands I'm hearing and feeling the word competition but I also see it look at this three of wands and queen of wands no one can take from you what it is that you offer. You have nothing to worry about. In fact, spirit is going to drop into your hands. I'm just hearing the word explosive. They're going. It's going to rock your world in the best way possible. Spirit is rec is is trying to and working to drop into your hands not only the seeds but things that have already been growing to add to your garden and each one of those plants is going to be something substantial significant and is going to be your your world it's there's massive things that it is that you've been wanting and needing that you've been seeking and striving for and it's going to be placed into your hands it is incoming spirit says talk to me and t and and talk to me so i can tell you what you are going to need to do to compete in this new world, what you're going to need to do in order to look, take some time out for yourself because spirit is going to give you the game plan. This is what I see you guys calling in um, for manifestation or intention setting. Look, judgment card, there's going to be a massive rebirth, a massive awakening. It's going to come through like archangels, going to speak to you and tell you, this is what needs to be done. This is how we're going to do it. This is the plan. And this is going to give you everything that is that you want. And it's going to feel like a reward. Don't worry about what has come and gone. We're going to take care of that. But for right now, welcome to your new normal because it is going to be awesome. It's going to be prosperous. It's going to be forgiving and it's going to be plentiful. I hope that this message makes a lot of sense, you guys. I hope that it resonates. I hope that you're feeling powerful and you're ready to work your magic. Um, I'm going to be working definitely the Gemini oil. I'm going to use um, Essence of Passion Flower that I'm picking up. Look, the Tower card. Not even surprised. That I'm pick, picking up from out of my very own garden. I have two flowers that have sprung up that are fruiting right now. Tomorrow morning, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. while the dew's still on them and before the sun touches them to pick them and prep them for Gemini pre-order, which is now available in the apothecary to help you to work your magic under the umbrella of this energy that we're working with now. Two of Swords. Take some rest, take some pause, and allow someone else maybe to work their magic for you so you're not doing it all alone. If you need me, I'll be at Bahati Life Apothecary. That's BahatiLife.com. Or you can reach me at info at BahatiLife.com, and I'll be there to help you there. Either me or my assistant. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Cheer it! And I'll see you in my next one. Bye! You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. 
you'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.